Hey, it's Tim Piles from 91X. We have the boys from Hippocampus. Introduce yourselves. Say hello. Hello. My name's Nathan. Hey, I'm Jake. How long have you guys been a band at this point? Oh, shoot. We're coming up on four years, I think. It's crazy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, four years. You guys met in high school? Was this a like a musical high school? It was a musical high school, yeah. Performing arts. So there was dance and vocal uh, performance and theater. Uh, and just a jazz. bunch of terrible art kids running around doing nothing. Nothing good. So. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like Minnesota is a great place to uh, to start a band. There's a lot of basements in Minnesota, right? Quite. Yeah. Many a basement. We've a we've found ourselves in in a few of those. Yeah. Is that where you found your sound in a basement? Actually, yeah. yeah. Technically, yeah. yes. Zach's basement. Yeah. In uh, where are you guys? You're in a suburb of St. Paul in Minnesota, right? Um, yeah. Some of us live in Woodbury. Um, it's like really close to Wisconsin. Uh, but some of us live in Minneapolis now. So. Well, this is your second time in San Diego, back at the House of Blues. I think my first introduction was off of one of the first EPs, Suicide Saturday. Super catchy song, but but kind of morbid. Is it supposed to, uh, you know, I don't know, Suicide Saturday. Maybe there's more to the lyrics. you want to explain that? It's a juxtaposition. Yeah, it's kind of a juxtaposition. Basically, like, it's social suicide that we're referring to, not really literal suicide at all. Um, just kind of this idea that, to be okay with being alone, which is something when you're younger, you could you could struggle with something. I think we all struggled with, um, but yeah, it's not not necessarily as morbid as it may seem. Yeah. <laughs> well, you did find each other, and you have an amazing new album, which is in my pocket, right here. It is called what is it called again? Hardboiled. Hardboiled. That's the oh sorry no that's the that's the promotion company. They promote the record and send it to me to make sure I have Hippocampus's latest record. Uh, landmark 2017, Landmark 2017. Landmark, yeah, I'm sorry, I was going to say Landslide, that's terrible. There it is right there. And of course, is the first single technically off this album Western Kids or Boyish? Uh, Boyish was the Boyish. very first, then we released uh, a track called Bond Soon, and then the latest single they're working right now is Way Goes. But could turn over to Western Kids soon. Keep your eyes peeled. It's a, it's a great album. I mean, it's just this super fun... I didn't break that. Uh, super fun indie pop. Um, what are the the influences for your band? I mean, I can't wait to see it live. I haven't had the chance. I'm sorry I wasn't here and hip to it the first time. But really excited to see it on tour with Avid Dancer. But what are the biggest influences for Hippocampus? <sighs> Changes, Prince? man. Come on, you're from Minnesota. I don't know. Me musically, like, it's almost too much ground to cover. I feel like, more specifically, our our friends and, like, the people in our lives are more inspiring than, like, bands you know what i'm saying but you had to have been listening to something what what's a band that would embarrass people to know that you listened to before you actually had taste in music you know when you're a kid and you're just listening to something on the radio i was like i was like jason raz's like number one fan for a period of time shout out shout out jason yeah. if you if you if you're listening you know we could meet up grab some coffee sometime <laughs> but uh i love uh, jason yeah. I, I grew up with a lot of lori line in my like at dinner time my family just like put that on what Lori Lyon, she's like this pianist. Okay. Uh, a pianist. Thank anyway, you. But, um, <laughs> That's not too embarrassing. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think what would be embarrassing about your time frame. I mean, uh, I don't know. Um, musically, uh, there's there's everything from like This Will Destroy You to um, the uh, the latest Tame Impala record. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All that, like a lot of the stuff uh, in 2015 that influenced um, this record. Uh, that we were listening to on the road. It was very eclectic, you know, adjusting the van life and stuff like that. You get, there's so much to listen to. It's crazy. But Is this a, are you now regularly touring or was that not a thing or, or you've been doing that pretty regularly? Um, we started in 2015, early 2015, and that was like the first time we'd been out of Minnesota playing a show and it was at South By and uh, since then it's been pretty... Consistent. Solid, yeah. yeah. Minnesota loves you. You guys have two sold-out shows at First Avenue. Not the 7th Street entry, but First Avenue. That's coming up in a few weeks, right? Yeah. Is it's that crazy. exciting? Yes. Yeah, have crazy. you sold it out before? Uh, yeah, we have, actually. Yeah. Oh, no yeah. big deal, then. Well, <laughs> two nights is way different. That's a different... Yeah, two nights are going to be crazy. We're, we're really grateful for it. It's crazy. Yeah. 
And you've been supported heavily by a local radio station, a non-commercial radio station, KCMP. Was that a uh, an instrumental part of getting you guys like out into the public? And I know, I mean, I listen to that station. I live here in San Diego, as well as 91X, which is the best station. But that, as a local band, that must have been huge to get that support, right? Yeah, radio support's really important. Uh, just hitting the waves, you know, it's all about getting our sound out, so. I'm sure you played Rock the Garden in some of the events they have there, right? Yeah, we yes. did Rock the Garden last year. That was fun. It was crazy. Chance the Rapper was there, and uh, Flaming Lips were there. It was, it was too hot. It was yeah, too, too hot. hot. Too yeah. hot. I've, I didn't wear shoes on stage, and so my oh, feet were, like, burning. Dude. I didn't think about it. So all set, I was kind of hopping around. Yeah. The extremes <laughs> of Minnesota are pretty wild. I've actually only been there in the summer and experienced the uh, humidity <laughs> yeah, in the exactly. Minnesota State Bird, the mosquito. Yeah. Yes, um, exactly. But love Dairy Queens. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful place, Dairy Queen. Shout out, Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> I got arrested once in Minnesota at a, an event called Waterama. It was a, a lake like party in Glenwood, Minnesota, small town. And I was underage, and we were drinking out of like you know Seven Eleven cups, and we weren't even being obnoxious. And the police officer stopped and said, are. "I must have looked like I was from California in the small Minnesota yeah. town." You know, like that guy. What are you doing um, here? Oh. Hey, what yeah. are you doing here, huh? <laughs> what do you guys miss most from uh, Minnesota when you're on the road? Anything uh, besides my, friends and family? My bed. Yeah, my, my girlfriend, bed. which is my bed. Yeah. And yeah. my actual girlfriend, but also my bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have an intimate relationship with my bed. Yeah. Uh, I like... I have two um, rabbits. I miss both of my rabbits. Aww, very nice. dearly. I just like the nature. The nature. The I, like, nature. I like outside, the and natural. outside of Minnesota yeah, is really great. It is that. a beautiful state. Uh, what? Uh, where's the home of the Juicy Lucy? Do we know this? Oh, um, uh, what a I can't remember the exact name of the place myself. Goodness. What is the Juicy Lucy then? You can tell people that. It's a uh, it's a cheese infused <laughs> cheese infused <laughs> burger, right? Yeah, I don't even know if I've had one. Really? I, yeah, I don't I don't yeah, care for that. Are you guys vegetarian? No, but. Uh, make that the idea that of that makes me want to be vegetarian. <laughs> I'd much rather have vegetables than a juicy Lucy. Yeah, sorry. Some good grilled vegetables. Uh, it's mm, tasty. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. I got to tell every band I talk to. The one thing that San Diego bands miss the most when they're on the road is we have um, a plethora of like Mexican burrito taco places. There's like hundreds of them everywhere, and that's the one thing. It's perfect band food too, like a burrito after a show, and really nowhere else in the country. So I would suggest. Trying the burritos while you're here in San Diego. Beautiful, yeah. I might have to, I'm gonna try. Where's them. the best spot? What's the best one? Uh, La Posta number seven on Washington Street. That's a favorite. But seriously, they're they're, they're everywhere. Nice. Just tell your driver to pull over. Nice. Albertos, Aldibertos, Robertos. Heck, even Rubios isn't that bad. Nice. Yeah, I love it. Um, do you have any memories of? Uh, have you had any fun in San Diego? You've been to SeaWorld, the zoo, TJ. I used to live in Arizona, and so we'd make the trek up to SeaWorld. Um, Pretty much every year, but uh, that was before Blackfish. Yeah, so. rest, rest in peace. So uh, now, uh, what's no more Shamu come? show. S- yeah, Shamu. Now they're gonna build rides there. It's gonna be like an amusement park. <sighs> I don't know, Camus man. Can perform. The beach no, was no. always really nice. <laughs> Our last time we played here was was really great. Everybody nice weather. Really yeah. Great. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, we benefit here from some beautiful weather for most of the year, yeah, except for, for sure. we've had some crazy rain lately. But but nothing like what you deal with, and I think that's instrumental in in starting a band and, and I don't know, you're kind of forced to be inside and mm-hmm. be creative in a basement. You know, basements yeah. are huge, I think. We don't have that. It's it's just things that help a band have the ability to do what they are and create this great music. You know, every song on the album is so catchy. It's so much fun. And it's it's not like psychedelic. It's just, I mean, it's really good indie pop, smart, catchy, fun, and I bet the ladies love it. <laughs> no or your mom, at no least. Comment. I don't yeah, know. My, mom loves it. my grandma loves it, too. Shout out, Grandma. What's up, Grand? Have you guys ever performed at the Mall of America? <laughs> no, we uh, haven't. No. It's no. a mistake. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, the Sears uh, corner or something. Exactly. In, in, like, during Christmas it's time. It's a market we haven't tapped into. Or the Best Buy corner or something. Yeah. We should do that. Someday. Set up a stage. Like, kick all the choir choir kids out of there. You yeah, know, the I feel like there's, like, a never-ending choir concert that oh, occurs always. at the Mall of America. <laughs> Probably. I hate, I hate that place. <laughs> Thank you. Moving on. Uh, you guys handle recording your album yourself? Is this very, like, DIY, or are there a lot of people helping you out? A lot of people. Yeah? Yeah. Well, not, not, a, lot of, not a lot of people, but um, a lot of work, and uh, we did it in a bunch of different places. Okay. So, uh, BJ Burton was our... Um, Co-captain. 
Medusa. Co-pilot. Medusa, man. Yeah, he's great. Did a great job. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's they're, they're so catchy now. Are there radio stations around the country already on it and, and, and banging so. it yet? Yeah, we don't we, we don't just really... We just do your thing. Yeah, we just yeah, players show, show up, man. And uh, hopefully somebody cares. Yeah, yeah. They show up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And again, I'm sorry I missed the last one, but I'm really anxious to see the show tonight. Avid cool. Dancer, Hippocampus, new album called Landmark. It is not on Hard Boiled Records. No, but see, they're doing their job, man. They're promoting the band. They're getting a guy like me to care. All I needed to do was hear Suicide Saturday, and I was hooked. So thanks, guys, for being here. Hippocampus, new album Landmark. I'm sure you'll be back again to San Diego, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't, no doubt. For yeah. sure. And burritos on me. All right? Oh, cheers, All right. man. Oh, Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, oh, thank yeah. you very much. Hippocampus. See how the western